learn when you learn to ride a motorcycle is this concept of looking through the corner and what that means is you're looking at where you want to go where you want the bike to be the general principle being that where you look is where your bike will follow I rode once with a friend and she just had a momentary lapse of I don't know concentration and where she looked was in a gutter on the side of the road and that's where her bike ended up there's lots of stories like that it's one of the things I really like to practice when I'm out riding is where do I look where's my attention and it doesn't mean only looking through the corner of course I'm you know you want to scan for the road surface leading up to the corner so there is a little bit of checking right in front of you but largely the idea is to look where you want to go what's that got to do with measurement well I think it's a little bit to do with what targets mean to us I know a lot of uh, people in the private sector, especially in sales, they set targets for today's sales or this week's sales. Some of that's translated over into non-sales and non-private sector organisations as well, where we set targets for now. Okay, everyone, let's just try really, really hard and hit the target this week or this month. That's like me riding through these corners looking directly in front of my wheel and not really looking up to see where I want the bike to go. I like targets. I do. Because I think they do help us feel some kind of motivation and stretch towards something different, something that's not where we are now, something ideally that's better than where we are now. And the difference, I think, with what I like about targets is not to hit them but to reach toward them just like looking through the corner to where I want to go I'll look through time into the future at the target I'm trying to reach I'm still scanning what's happening now that's important we always need to understand the context around our journey toward the target but that target is through the corner it's around the corner it's something we drive toward when we aren't looking through the corner when we aren't reaching towards our targets often what we're doing is fixating on them target fixation and this is a lot about what Jerry Mueller's book The Tyranny of Metrics is all about when we focus too much on hitting the number and not enough really on why and making performance better and doing it in, a, in an efficient, uh, systemic way. Of course, my friend made that mistake of target fixation when she put her bike in the ditch. By the way, she was okay. A little bit banged up, but she was fine. Her bike wasn't. <laughs> uh, Fixating on targets usually does lead to bad consequences like that. Our attention is just so tightly attached to hitting that number that all of our energy and resources just seem to follow, just like, you know, your bike will follow you where you look. Generally, all your resources and energy follow where you look when you're focused or fixated on a, on a target and just hitting the number and it's at the detriment of other things. We've got to think more holistically and think more systemically when we want performance to improve. Reaching for targets gives us the time to really understand the system that is holding performance back to where it currently is and stopping it from being at that, that targeted level we want it to be at. one of the reasons I love setting targets in the future. I'm not trying to hit them next week or next month. Think about how much do I want performance to elevate by? Do I think that's going to be hard or easy? How much time do I think I'm going to need? And then I use that time, you know, to learn, test, do business experiments, 
look at my XMR charts of my measures to see are there any signals of change in response to the actions that I'm testing. It's fun. That's the kind of game that is fun with performance measures, not the gaming and the dysfunctional behaviours that come when we fixate on targets.